Here we have the magical wooden yurt. People have loved this over the years. A bunch of people have gotten engaged there. Anyway, it's a really specific design and uh, unfortunately the inventor has passed on. Wonderful man, but one of his protégés who's built many yurts near the Hudson, New York area, came up here and built this. And it's, it's just a, a beautiful, beautiful design, but it's a vibe. Yeah, everything here is off grids, but this is our most rustic cabin. It actually doesn't have a toilet or kitchen inside. It's got an outhouse over there and a gray water system for the sink. So a lot of this stuff came from the barn. This door was in the barn and all of the windows were in the barn when I moved here. So use that wood, also used wood from the forest that was milled to make this. The wood actually, when I got here, I got Steve Fire Robin to take down a few white pine for me for lumber, for all kinds of stuff. So we built this yurt milled just down the road by Steve Fire Robin here on Fire Robin Road. The heating is only um, wood stove and it heats up really nice even if it's 20 below because there's not much insulation, nothing in the roof, some in the floor, some in the walls, but it's just so small that a stove like that is gonna get this super nice and warm in the winter time. Insulation is spray foam. I bought one of those kits that you get, comes with a little compressor tank and you can spray foam yourself. I think I did almost everything with one kit it was like 500 bucks for the kit. Basically, it's super simple. You do your cooking outside, either on the gas barbecue or in the fire pit. And then here you can do your washing up. I usually have a 20 liter jug of drinking water here for whatever you need. Um, people can also cook on the stove uh, in the winter time. That heats up really nicely, obviously. You can boil water, make coffee, make whatever, whatever you want on the stove. Um, and that's it. This is like as simple as it gets in terms of your stay here. There's something about this that people really like. They like to be challenged by uh, not having much. It really allows them to focus on the silence, the disconnect. There's no Wi-Fi, no cell. Um, it's just a real super chill zone. This bed pulls out. Uh, it's a futon, and then you got your hammock back there. Yeah, there's just two little solar panels, one battery that just runs these two lights, and that's it. This one I made, actually. Yeah, it's a 12-volt system, so they're 12-volt lights that go directly into the battery, and um, yeah, it just, that's it as far as electricity. You can plug a USB uh, port into the solar regulator, um, but yeah two lights. Yeah, you could put a little system together like this for like probably less than 200 bucks, maybe 300 bucks with the battery. And it, but it's just for lights, right? So if someone wanted to build this now, oh my God, with the lumber being five times what it once was, the windows, like if you had to pay for everything, wood stove and all the piping, there's a thousand bucks there, a bit like, I don't know, you could probably build this for, I mean, this assuming you're not garage sailing and getting things on Facebook. Like if you paid store prices for everything here, probably cost 20 grand. I decided to uh, build this as the first cabin I built because my girlfriend at the time's dad was the expert and my God, what an artist. He like sculpts with wood. It was amazing. He just had a pile of wood that wasn't cut for this and an old saw from the 70s, an old skill saw. That's all I had. He's like, no problem. I just watched him like doing calculate. Like, can you imagine? There's not one right angle, one straight line. These are all, it's a circle. It's insane. So it was done in a week, the actual frame. And then I spent months doing the finishing, doing the floor, doing the windows, doing the insulation, doing the details. But yeah, the frame was up in a week. It's amazing.